Hey, hello there. So today I'm looking at uh, the final single number question, 260, single number 3. Uh, we have an array of uh, integer numbers in which exactly two elements appear only once and all other elements uh, appear exactly twice. We need to find those two elements that uh, appear only once. Uh, as an example, we have 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 5. So the result is 3 and 5. Uh, we can return that in the uh, other order, 5, 3. That's also OK. The algorithm should run in linear time and a comp uh, constant space. So linear time, uh, we should just do linear scan um, for limited number of times. The constant space, it's just suggesting that we should look for uh, bit manipulation solutions. So um, as with uh, single number two and single number one, uh, the bit-wise operations that we should look at uh, uh, is the uh, exclusive all operations because the numbers that uh, appear twice when we do the exclusive all between those two numbers uh, you know the same occurrence uh, the two occurrence of the same number we cancel those so if we just run that uh, accumulation uh, with zero as the initial number and uh, doing the exclusive all operators uh, what do we end up with uh, is three exclusive all with five that's the bit difference between these two single number. So let's just uh, uh, show the bit here. So 3 is uh, uh, a 2 and a 1, and the 5 is a 4 and a 1. So the difference, the bit difference is their exclusive all, which we can easily obtain by just doing one pass with exclusive all. Uh, that's uh, 110. What what's this is telling us is that uh, uh, only one of the number between these two has a one bit in the two's position, and only one of the number uh, between among these two between these two have a one bit in the fourth position. So um, we can just uh, let's say that we choose to use this bit to help us to uh, try to find the number three. Uh, the thing we can do is to basically just. Uh, uh, put the array of numbers into two buckets. The first half is the number that have a, have a one bit in the in the twos position. Uh, so it's going to be end up like uh, uh, two, two, three. The other half is going to be uh, one and uh, one and uh, five. So the the other half is uh, those numbers who uh, which don't have a one bit in the twos position. And uh, uh, we can easily do this by using an AND operator. So uh, basically, if number AND, uh, something like the bit mask 010, uh, if, if it's uh, OK, uh, uh, this stuff will go into this first bucket. So, so if it's not zero, it will go to the first bucket. Otherwise, it will be uh, go to the second bucket. So, uh, hmm. so that's that's pretty much. Um, just based on uh, whatever bit that we have in this diff, we can use the first bit, we can use the uh, last one bit, uh, wh whichever it's uh, easier to grab. Uh, so if we want to just uh, for simplicity, we can grab the last one bit. That's by, um, ex we can extract that by doing an AND operator between the number and the negative uh, of the number. That's, uh, that's a formula to extract the very last one bit. Uh, or, or if we don't know this formula, we just check the bit position by position and choose whatever position that uh, have a one bit in this in this diff. Uh, and based on that, we create a bit mask like this, and uh, then we can divide the filter the array into two 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 halves. Uh, and then what we do is basically run the exclusive operations with a zero initial through the part that contains the um, from through one of this uh, uh, sub uh, you know section here. Then we can in fact grab a three from from this. Uh, if we run the exclusive all uh, with a zero initial to the other half, we can get a five out of it. Uh, so that's pretty much uh, the uh, code. It's going to be two pass. And uh, 
uh, actually can be simplified a little bit. Once we get x, we can do uh, so. So if we can grab three, three and uh, three and exclusive all with three exclusive all five, and we can cancel the three and grab five. So we don't have to go uh, another pass through the other portion. So it can potentially be. Uh, one and a half if it's uh, perfectly even uh, so but, but it's it's not not that important so let's just uh, code this solution up we have uh, we first uh, grab the difference between this uh, uh, two single numbers so we run this uh, accumulation uh, from the beginning to the end of the ar array with uh, 0 as initial because 0 exclusive or any number is that number uh, and uh, I mean, we are using bit exclusive or operation so by doing this we basically grab the difference between uh, the bit difference between these two single number then we use this formula to grab the uh, to, to create a bit mask for the rightmost bit this rightmost bit can help us to identify one of the number and uh, uh, and you, we can use that to divide the array into two halves yeah, basically uh, not, not just call it mask equal to diff and negative diff so then we're just gonna uh, have x just call the first number x to be initial to be zero, enumerated with all the numbers over all the numbers. If the number um, has a one bit in the in the mask position, then we uh, accumulate that with this x. Um, You know, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna pretend that I don't know this. I'm just gonna use use two accumulator to go through this because I realize the divide of those into two buckets, uh, two halves, uh, should should at least be one pass. So the total is uh, a fixed two pass here. One pass from beginning to end. One pass for numbers in number uh, for number in numbers. Um, So in the end, we should just return the x and y pair. Mm -hmm. So that looks OK. That's working, uh, mediocre. So yeah, so this is uh, the single number question, the last single number question. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to solve some other bit uh, manipulation question. Uh, yeah, that's it.